I am Dr. Shrujit Ghosh. Welcome to my channel, Dr. Ghosh Presents. Top 16 Homeopathic Remedies for Cough and Cold Possibly one cannot find a single person in the world who has never suffered from cough and cold in life. Cough and cold is one of the commonest diseases. What is cough and cold? Mainly due to infection in URT means upper respiratory tract. I will explain the images very soon. By human rhinovirus or adenovirus or paranasal virus etc. Cough and cold occurs. Occasionally bacteria, fungus etc. can cause it. Please look on the right hand side. This is upper respiratory tract. It starts from actually trachea. Trachea, down, trachea, then larynx, then pharynx. Thereafter, there are two tracts after pharynx. One is mouth and another is from nose. This is above. This, this way, this way is comes from nostrils, that is nose, mouth, and here is the pharynx, whole pharynx. This is posterior near or the uh, that is uh, the uh, hind portion of the um, nose back portion of the nose is called posterior near all this comprises upper respiratory tract plus there are few sinuses you know these two sinuses are called frontal sinus these two sinuses are called maxillary sinus and there are also two smaller sinuses in the brain, I mean skull, this is ethmoidal sinus and sphenoid sinus. This is sphenoid and this is moidal. All these sinuses are also part of the upper respiratory tract. What are types of cough? Two types, dry cough, wet cough. What are symptoms of cold? There is cough and cold. Number one, throat pain, cough. Number two, water secretion or mucus from throat. Number three, slight headache. Number four, sneezing, fever state. Number five, generalized malaise. When to consult a doctor for adults? Number one, when symptoms appear graver. Number two, fever over 100 degree Fahrenheit for three days or more. Number three, Fever reappears again and again. Number four, breathe, taking, getting troublesome. Number five, wheezing in chest. Number six, furious headache, throat, sinusitis. For minors, fever, 100 degree Fahrenheit or more. Number two, breathing, trouble. Number three, too restlessness. Number four, reluctant to take food. Number five, earache. Number six, always drowsy. drowsy. Number seven, crying or whining, always who are predisposed to cough and cold. Number one, babies and tender aged boys and girls. Number two, persons with weak immune system. Number three, smokers, direct or indirect. Number four, those who go to many men without mask. How does cough and cold spread? Infective microbial droplets spread out in environment when sick persons laugh, sneeze, cough, talk, sing, cry. The droplets enter into the body of the healthy person through mouth, nose, eyes and cause cough and cold. Infection may spread from hand to hand method also. When an infected hand comes in touch with mouth, nose or eyes, the person gets infected. How to prevent cough and cold? Number one, wash hands very often. Number two, wear mask when outside. Number three, Maintain social distance of 2 meter. Number 4. Avoid crowd. Number 5. Avoid contact with diseased persons. Number 6. Preserve your immune system following healthy lifestyle. Now medicines or remedies are coming. Allium Sipa for cough and cold. Leap corrodes with profuse acrid secretion from nose. Profuse secretion also comes out of eyes, but it is bland, opposite of euphrasia, throat pain, headache, 
and deterioration in throat causes cough. Intense thirst, hot sensation all over body, worse in evening, warm room, inside a room, better feeling in open air. Euphrasia for cough and cold, profuse bland secretion of nose, but secretion of eyes is acrid, opposite of allium sepa. Secretion increases at night while lying down. Cough worse in daytime but less while lying down. Throat pain due to severe and continuous cough. Ipasal for cough and cold. Illness from cold, cold dry weather. Inflammation of nose, ear, throat, larynx and chest. Sneezing, cough, hoarseness. Whenever in cold air, secretion from nose watery at start then become thick yellowish and fitted sweat all the night but no respite we can get this symptom in mercurius soul also better feeling from wet air subjects gets angry at travels if one allows cold air to enter into room it tends to beat one <laughs> dr farrington remarked if due to hepar given initially inflammation moved from nose to chest it is undesirable. Such cases, says, such cases demand phosphorus. That is rectification of error. Knocks for cough and cold. Cough worse in dry cold wind. Nose is clogged at start, burning and pain in throat. At night in open air sneezing. In daytime profuse nasal discharge in warm room. Subject is so chilly that despite a lot of clothing he feels cold in the whole body. He gets angry easily. Sometimes feels heat and chill alternately. Sulfur for cough and cold. Old inflammation of nasal mucosa. Incessant sneezing. Nostrils blocked. Sometimes nasal secretion instantly comes in drops. Nasal secretion acrid burning. Sulfur patient cannot keep clothes on at night. Crave to eat sweets and fat. Palms and feet warm. Like to Keep feet open. Leaves, ear are bright red. The symptom which are given underlined, not underlined symptom, these are actually general symptom. It represents the patient and most important. Calcarea carb for cough and cold. Very old inflammation of nose, thick yellow discharge or thick scraps come out of nostrils. During first part of night, subjects breathe through nose, then nostrils get blocked, have to breathe through mouth later. Chili but perspire profusely, so sensitive to cold that cannot determine how to dress to avoid cold. Pulsatilla for cough and cold. From nose, thick yellow bland discharge, cannot get smell properly, nostrils block at night, secrets profusely in morning, secreting in open air blocked in closed room, better in open air but nostrils inflamed in closed room at night, lips dry, exfoliate, Sleeps with hands above head, gentle, obedient, and wants sympathy. They are general symptom of pulsatilla. Natamur cough and cold. Secretion of nose watery or like egg albumin, like boiled egg or not ordinary. Nasal discharge unnaturally huge, which eats spasms of sneezing. Alternate discharge and blockage of nostrils. Fever blister at corner of leaf or ala nausea. Just note, this is the fever blisters. Now, what is ala or alley of nose? This portion, this portion, this one and this one. This portion of nose are called alley or ala nose. Ala of nose. Calf with severe headache. We get this also in Brania. Hoarseness, urine leaks out due to spasms of calf. Subjects either crave salt or abhor it. Dislike noise, weep easily, but in camera and depressed. General symptom of natra. Rastox for cough and cold. Cough and cold from wet cold wind during perspiration. Dalkamara also get this symptom. Horrible inflammation of nose, nose blocked from slight cold. Troubles worse in cold, better in warm. Nasal discharge thick, yellow and fitted. Mucusha of throat swollen in red. Hoarseness, burning, pain in throat, trouble to start talking. That is trouble while starting the talk. 
and singing, but then it disappears. That is trouble is gun. Likes to take cold drinks at night, but then chill and cough starts. Arsenic album for cough and cold. Nasal discharge is watery thin, corrodes upper lip, nose blocked always. Subject very much chilly, always get cold in nose. From there, it settles in chest. Sneezing in every change of weather, feels chill always. Cold wind, intolerable. Always looks for warmth or heat. Burning sensation better by warm application. This is USP. USP means uncommon, strange, peculiar symptom. Burning sensation is there, but it is relieved by warm application, not cold application. Subject restless, anxious, suffer from fear of death. Iodium for cough and cold, nose dry, blocked, no smell, dry inflammation, fever with profuse secretion, repeated sneezing and fever, secretion thin like water with fever, intense headache and repeated sneezing, or drops of secretion like water. Subjects lean, very hungry, cannot tolerate heat. The last line is general symptom. Calia iod for cough and cold, intense cold after exposure to wet cold wind. Nose dry, swollen, acrid, watery discharge therefrom. Eyes burn, discharging tear. With headache due to cold frontal sinusitis. Note the picture here. These are called frontal sinus. Frontal sinus and maxillary sinus are the main two sinuses. The frontal sinus is affected here. Intense cold after it to get cold wind, nose red, swollen, acrid, watery, discharge therefrom, eyes burn, discharge in fear, with headache due to cold frontal sinus, inflammation of eyes, throat, and pleura, forehead heavy with boring pain, severe sneezing, eyes swollen, profuse tear comes out, comes down, furious, acrid, watery discharge due to inflammation of nose, nose sore, face red, white coating on tongue. White coating on tongue, violent thrust, nasal voice, chill and heat sensation, and dry heat and sweat alternate. Belladonna for cough and cold. Suppressed discharge causes maddening headache, throat red, glistening, pain as if ulcerated, sudden onset, devastating situation. Hoarseness, Belladonna is always sudden onset, and the onset is like storm, serious storm. Hoarseness, painful dryness of larynx, swelling of larynx with high snoring and state of choking, that is choking of breathing. Acute infection of larynx, dry cough as if mucous membrane tearing apart. Skin of the subject red or dry. They are restless, act like delirious. This is a general symptom. Last line is a general symptom. Brahmania for cough and cold. Trouble starts from nose, sneezing, dripping from nose, eyes, pain in eyes nose and head. Later infection spread from spread along posterior nares to throat, larynx, trachea, bronchus and finally lungs resulting hoarseness, trachitis, bronchitis, pneumonia and even pleurisy. Reverse on phosphorus or lycopodium. That is phosphorus lycopodium etc. Their infection start from lung and then come above. Brownia infection start from nose then goes down to the lung, towards lung. Dry spasmodic cough, worse at night, after food, and drinks in warm room from deep inhalation. All these causes worse situation. With cough, stitching pain, bursting headache. Cough breaks the whole body, but little mucus comes. Takes a lot of water at a time. Likes to lie down silently. Leaves dry, parched, and cracked. Last few uh, words are the general symptoms actually of brania. These are very, very important. These have been underlined. Phosphorus for cough and cold. Secretion and blockage run alternately for a long time. We get this symptom in Nax pulse also. Pain in throat, head insensitive. Discharge dry up, thicken and stuck in nostrils. Hoarseness bronchitis. One nostril block, the other discharging. During sneezing, pain felt in throat and head. Epistaxis, nose red, glistening. Painful, cough dry, hard, wrecks the whole body. Worse in open air. Infection starts in lung, larynx, then moves towards throat, nose, sinuses. That is the reverse direction 
of the just we have described a few again in case of brain etc infection start from nose and goes down to the lung here from lung it comes to above mercurius and cough and cold mercurius for and on set chill spread all body profuse sneezing a lot of acrid secretion later foul greenish pus like acrid discharge from nose nose looks red it's swollen and glistening frontal sinus inflamed not this symptom frontal sinus inflamed this person is suffering from frontal sinusitis hoarseness dry cough rough titillating cough uneasiness in warm room but cannot tolerate cold taste in mouth may be sweet salty metallic fetid profuse sweat which worsen situation tongue swollen with imprints of teeth halitosis halitosis means bad breath the last symptom is the general symptom of mercurius